I think somebody has accidentally let granddad out of the old people's home this week. Honestly, with these activists, I think they enjoyed their five seconds of fame a little bit too much last week. It would appear all the older generation of activists saw what the uh, two young Gen Z kids did last week were throwing tomato soup on a Van Gogh painting and said, wait a second, hold my can of soup. Let me outdo these Gen Z kids because this week it seems like they've gone completely out of control, spraying houses with nacho cheese, pieing the royals in their face, reenacting the famous Beatles photo when they're walking over that zebra crossing in London, and also the good old fashioned gluing their hands and sticking it onto stuff like it's a Mr. Beast video and the last person to take their hand off of the item wins the item. Oh, they've really done it all this week. Just picture being one of those cars for a second. You know, you're the first one there to be blocked. I mean, straight off the get-go, you'd probably be quite intrigued. Like, oh look, they're recreating this Beatles picture. Okay, it's starting to drag on a little bit too long now. They're kind of stretching this out a little bit too long. And then, and then you see this color vest be pulled out. And you think to yourself, oh God, could it be? I thought it was legend. The Just Oil Group have roadblocked us. Why God? Why do you hate me so much? Why? I don't think there's any punishment on earth greater than being the first person in line of when a climate activist decides to block the road so you can't leave. You know, that little tunnel of light of you almost being able to escape, but not quite because they've glued themselves to the road. You've just finished work after a long day, but at least you can get home early and relax. Nope, looks like you're sleeping in the car tonight. I guess there are some perks to that. You're already halfway towards work. It makes the journey a hell of a lot quicker for tomorrow. That's really as far as the perks go from this. I can imagine it being quite annoying if I'm gonna be perfectly honest with you. Although I don't really know what the excuse of people on mopeds is, considering when they're blocking it, you could easily squeeze between these people. I like to think some people just like to watch it as the shit show really goes down and people start losing their patience very quickly. Honestly, especially in a place like London, where I used to live near, English people only really invented patience a few weeks ago. So we're not the best at really trying to keep a level headed when it comes to stuff like this. Hence with the majority of videos coming out are literally English people picking them up like ragdolls and throwing them to the other side of the road. I can't really blame them that much. I love that. We'll move up the road the second that the UK government stops all their oil production and just stops using oil. I don't know if these activists really realize switching to a different form of energy will take a little bit longer than switching your internet provider. I, I feel like this is something that would probably have to be years within the making. Well, the blaze, we don't have years to wait. You can't really win because at the end of the day, now we're getting closer to winter. You're gonna have to use those fossil fuels at some point to keep you and your family warm, but they don't wanna hear anything like that. They just want a quick fix right now. They don't actually particularly care that the planet is even being destroyed. They just want to get their point across and for you to change it immediately. I don't understand this way of thinking personally. Have you also noticed as well, the majority of people that do these types of things, like granddad at the beginning of the video, are old retired pensioners. It seems like they kind of somehow got the younger generation to join in. A bunch of these literally look like year sevens have skipped out on school and decided to take part in a protest. Everybody needs a hobby or a after school activity club, I suppose. For me, it was either playing rugby or football, but I'm a simple man. This seems a little bit too extreme for me. Also, it actually requires leaving the house. And as we all know, YouTubers don't leave their house.
good old thank you while being locked in, thanking the police officer for arresting him and for them willingly to go into, into the van. You might got to say a lot of things about protesters, but at least they're polite. That's good. Definitely puts a smile on my face. Ah, would you look at that guys? King Charles got pied. What an epic prank. Nobody is safe from these activists this week guys. They're targeting everybody. Um, I think someone should let them know in the comments though. That wasn't the real King Charles. Good try though. Nearly got there. Now in this next clip, I saw that these activists actually went into a car showroom and decided that it would be an actual great idea to super glue their hand. Which, by the way, guys, I'm, I'm sure everyone is no stranger on how glue is made in factories with oil. But anyway, that's factual facts. You can't bring that into the argument. That'd be ridiculous. Anyway, they like to super glue their hands. And in today's video, they had the best idea ever of super gluing them and sticking them onto a car. I also saw as well after they recorded this video, uh, a few of them made a few statements telling us how angry they were because apparently the people in the building and the, in the actual showroom didn't offer them any food or supplies and, and generally got mad. C could you imagine that? Could you imagine trashing a place and then you get mad at them because they haven't offered you anything nice? They said it was some human rights violations because of that, even though they're the ones that four willingly went into the car factory and super glued their hands. I think another one actually just turned off the lights and actually just left the building and just shut it down and kept the people inside and just, <laughs> just didn't actually care and just went home. I think after a few hours of them just sat there with their hands on the car, super glued like a Mr. Beast video, realized that actually no one's even listening. This is actually kind of boring. And I think they all actually left because they had to take a toilet break and they were getting too cold. Uh, their claim was, I don't want to cause myself any actual physical harm, but yes, this is actually a very very important cause. See guys, if as long as you don't give this any attention, uh, they don't really care at the matter of fact. You know, if all these cars just drove around them and no one came, uh, no one would care after a few minutes. They would all go home. It's all about that five minutes of fame, I'm telling you. At this point, I really do just believe they're all just practicing for a Mr. Beast video. That really can be the only explanation for this kind of tomfoolery at the end of the day. Why else would you want to super glue your hand to different objects? Unless they were actually trying to practice for a Mr. Beast video. Maybe this might in fact even be the reason why Mr. Beast got his idea for that video. They gave him the idea. Super glue your hand to a car. The last one to take the hand off the car, you get to keep the Ferraris, guys. That's so funny. With it not even stopping there, honestly. When I say a lot of stuff has happened this week, I wasn't joking. They've literally destroyed streets, tried to destroy more art. I think they threw mashed potatoes on another famous painting this week. I don't know what the paintings have done to anger the activists, but apparently quite a lot. But here's them destroying some of the streets in London. Are you doing? I don't know why you're going to get... Are fueling the climate crisis Isn't right now in Pakistan. Millions of people have lost their money. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
No, people go places to be instead of wasting time. I'm not harming them. I'm not harming them. There's too many of us, mate. There's too many. So yes, quite a lot has been happening. Now with this last video that I wanted to show you, earlier I think it was yesterday, some activists went into a gallery and decided to throw more stuff at paintings. It's like taking your family out for a day out trip but trying to somehow turn that into an extreme sport because apparently going out with your family now and just seeing paintings isn't quite good enough. We've got to change that and make it a bit more interesting. And that's exactly what they've done. Hello. Menschen hungern. Menschen frieren. Menschen sterben. Now, guys, I've got to be honest. Whenever I hear that people are starving and freezing to death, the first thing I think about, those paintings in those British museums really piss me off. How dare they? No, honestly, guys, hear me out. Those paintings are in there, in that building, with heating, not freezing. Us as people are freezing. I think it's just absolutely unfair. How come paintings get heating and they're going to be perfectly fine in buildings, but I'm not this winter? Those paintings are... Uh, they just shouldn't be above me. It's around about the response you'd probably get from one of these uh, crazy people. But anyway, that has been this week of stuff. Uh, normally, I don't really cover these types of topics on my channel because there isn't normally that much to cover. They normally glue their hands to the roads and that's really about it. But this week, I don't know, they've been really creative and doing all sorts of protests. So, hope you guys enjoyed today's video and now you're all up to date on what's been happening with all the protests this week. Hope you guys are having a good day nonetheless. Remember, if you're out in public and you see someone wearing a reflective jacket, be cautious. They could be a protester. Make sure you drive in front of them and get past them before they block you for an entire day. But anyway, boys and girls, I'll see you all in tomorrow's video. Bye-bye.